This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. back here to Ritz Arena in Falls Court here on the campus of Lawyer College. Our second BCL matchup for the 48th edition that is. St. Maria Goretti, the second seeded Gale. Record of 25 and 6. Mount St. Joe's Gales and South, 27 and 7. Both teams seen each other a bit in the regular season. St. Maria Goretti was able to win both meetings. Their last meeting was on Super Bowl Sunday, February the 3rd. They dominated Mount St. Joe's in Hagerstown. And Crowley gets it first for the Gales. This is a rematch of a semifinal game a year ago where both teams went at it good. And Mount St. Joe's able to prevail to get to the finals. First shot, that was Balfour. That did not go for him. Back over. Comes Edwards. That's a three from Gulak. That one did not go. Second chance, but Blankley does. And banks it on a 2 nothing affair. Again, Battle of the Gale, so we won't use that nickname too much. This is a reference to both teams. Bishop, BCL Player of the Year. Blocked away by Simbala. Gulak gets it back over. Blankley, Edwards, Circe. Should I say back? Swings it back over to Edwards. Edwards, 13 on the shot clock. Should say in the corner. Pulls up and hits. 4 0 lead early. Look already. Mount St. Joe's in their purple road jerseys. Turns it over. Simbala. Gulak. Going all the way. And slides, slides it down in the middle. It's RJ Blakely in a timeout. Ball on St. Joe. Oh, man. The athleticism early for St. Maria Goretti right now. Overwhelming Mount St. Joe's. His 6 0 game early in this one. The Baltimore Catholic League thanks all of our tournament sponsors, advertisers, and fans. James Bryant, CPA. Yeah, interesting one. Right? Three for four so far in field goal attempts by St. Maria Goretti. Over for two for Mount St. Joe's. Out the timeout. As Balfour will get it back. 
The winner will see St. Francis on Sunday, taping Monday, here on the Dice Bully Network. Crawley back over to Balfour. And we have a situation with the clock, I believe. Schlockhock is stuck at 33, should be maybe down to about 27. Both teams going to get together. 6 nothing game here for St. Maria Goretti in Hagerstown. Nope, oh, back to game action. Clock will be at 31. And there it is. Crawley swings it over to Balfour. Balfour inside off the glass. A miss. Offensive rebound. That one tipped a miss there as well. Out of bounds for the bouquet and the ball back to Peretti. Blankley, Edwards, Gulak, this is inside, spin it in and it is in for Blankley. He has six of the eight, an early eight nothing lead here for Goretti. Chairs, Bishop, Crawley. Crawley had to force it. Pick City. Edwards. And he's fouled. First team foul against Mount St. Joe's. 521 here left in the first. And it has been Goretti's pace. Goretti's tight the game here so far. Brings it back. Cersei from downtown. He hits! 11 nothing up there. Playmakers everywhere right now for Goretti. Doing it all. And then a Mount St. Joe's team. Pick City again. Cerce all alone. And one. And one. 13 nothing game. And for the Mount St. Joe. Faithful, I'm even shocked at this result right now. And the bench will come in. Hamlin and Brown, respectfully. Points got to be made right now. It is not looking pleasing. Second shot goes. It's a hole right now for Mount St. Joe's. They're down 14 to nothing. Crowley, chairs, Brown, back over the chairs, counted in one, his bucket for Mount St. Joe. Both teams will see action next week in the Stork Harmon tournament. Mount St. Joe's will see Paul six, and St. Maria Goretti will see St. John's. The huh. and one goes. 11 point lead now, 14 to 3. As Mount St. Joe trying to get back in it here. Blankley cuts to Gulak. He's shooting up here. Gulak at the line, shooting two. And dictating the pace is Goretti. Cerce with eight so far, leading all scores. Blankley with six for St. Maria Goretti. Right there, quick scoreboard total for you. Here we get back to the free throw line. Second shot here. Trying to increase the lead to 13, 16 to 3. That one's in. 
Substitution there. So Matt Rogers in again. And number 15, Junior Matt Rogers. With the ball. Only Bishop yet. Not with a point on the board. See that changes down. Bishop dishes. Brown blocked. Rogers with it. Edwards. Sir say he stepped out. On forced error and Mount St. Joe's. We'll get it back. Quickly there, Brinkley back in the game. Tim Fowler, so we haven't seen much of his impact yet on this one. Bishop, takes the three, he did not. Hamlin, almost doubled, back over to Bishop. Hamlin, Bishop. Crawley to chairs. That's a three. That one no good. Devin Hamlin. Blankley. Three ball. No good there. From Goretti. Hamlet. Chairs. Downtown. Tip the miss. Offensive rebound to Brown. That's a three. That one slips. Chairs gets it. He has all the. The points so far for Mount St. Joe's, that's five. Rogers. That's a three. Hits it from RJ Blankley. 19 to five affair. Hamlin pulls back, got the drop. Antonio Hamlin. Two points for the freshman. 19 7 game. Blankley. He traveled. He grabbed it back when the feet was moving when I grabbed it back. Bishop off the screen. Bishop drives off the glass and then got it in. Now Mount St. Joe's playing a little bit more of their tempo and they're only down by nine now. Blankley again. That one didn't go that time. Rebound to Hamlin. Bishop behind his back. Woo, nice block there by Blankley. Sambala back in the game. Yes, sir, say he's coming back in. Bat it back. 139 here left in the first. Crawley. Back over to Bishop. I go to Crawley. Hamlet. Crawley steps for three. Spins in. 19 to 12 game. That's a three. Gulak tipped and missed. Two down to Brown. Crawley. Inside the Bishop. It is a blocking foul. There's going to be two shots. Fouls on Gulak is second. Yeah. 
James Bishop, two shots. First shot here for Bishop. Goes. Bob Mount St. Joe's trying to have this 17th appearance in the foul is the most by any BCL team. Goretti trying to get their sixth appearance in the final. It would be Goretti's first since 2002. Henry for the Gallows, 6'6", junior forward, number 15, Matt Rogers. 1913, are we down to seconds left here in the first? Rogers, inside. Symbolic. Blocked there by Brown. Cersei. Had it, he's gonna keep it on their end. Shot clock at 15, game clock at 43.5. Inside. Cymbala against Brown. Cymbala, front end miss. Lately, and one off the glass. Young fella gonna do something special. Wesley College in, no doubt about it. All oh, right, at the shot clock is off at 34 seconds. Trying to increase the lead back to nine again is blankly he does. So say, nice inside to Brown. Chairs. Back over now to Edwards. Off the screen. Back to Crawley. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Crawley. Side swings it. That's a three. In and out. Two, one. Edwards throws it up. And that's going to be the end of one. St. Maria Grady, 22. Joseph, 13. 22-13 lead for the second seeded St. Maria Goretti Gales over the Mount St. Joe Gales. The purple one against the white one here today. And here on the Dyson Network, we thank you so much for joining us. Check us out as always on the Twitter and Instagram at Dyson Net. Of course, our official Facebook page, Dyson Network, and our YouTube page right here. Nice sporting network. Subscribe today. Best action. Best sports action that is here in the Baltimore metro area. We got some action and stuff on there too. And hoping to come at you with some spring sports coming your way. Won't be too much. So we're going to have some mini videos as well. And we're coming at you. AU action coming as well. We know one All-Star game we will definitely be doing. It'll be the Bronson League All-Star game. It'll be March 31st. And you will see that game first day of April. We're on the die for the next one. Second quarter about to get underway with Matt Rogers inbounding the ball to St. Maria Goretti. Edwards. Rogers. Cersei. Cymbala, Edwards, Cymbala, got a matchup for him, hook shot, got it in there, lead back, still up, Bishop, inside, blocked away by Cymbala, Edwards, Cersei from downtown. That one back on miss. Back over to Bishop. Bishop takes advantage. Shot will not count. Ball was on the floor. 13 foul against Goretti. And Johnson will inbound here. Bat it, turned over. Cersei against Bishop. Cersei gets pass blocked away from Chairs. Chairs blocked that one out of bounds and Goretti will keep it. 31 seconds. 
Left on the shot clock, 7.07. 7.07, excuse me, left in the first half clock. Swings it. Zimbala. Defensive foul uh, against Mount St. Joe's. That is their 15. Foul on Jason and the tire is second. Got a second foul. 15 foul. Blankley. Pull up. Tipped and miss. Crowley and Mount St. Joe's. Brings it back. Chairs in the corner. No good. Bankley. Pass the offense inside. Got it in over chairs. Oh man, what a play that was. Crowley. Fakes it. Drives chairs off the glass and in. 26-15. left here in the first half. Back inside. Blankly. Foul. 16 foul against Mount St. Joe's. And uh, two shots coming up. Yeah, for one of the first teamers of the BCF. RJ Blankley has had a magnificent career at Goretti. Foul from Wesley Chairs, his second. First shot in there. Substitutions for both sides. Second shot goes. The control pace game again. Only two points so far for Mount St. Joe's here. And we're in two minutes in the quarter. Brings it back. Crawley pulls up. Hits it. 28-17. He's there as McLean swings. Bottom. Blocked. Crawley. Swings it back to Bishop. Bishop gets away. He drives. Gets the roll. Lee back down to nine as Blankley. Comes off the bench. He's about to come back in. I mean, that was both. 5.07 here left in the first half. Circe. Off the screen. Pick and roll action. Zabala blocked. Back comes Mount St. Joe's Bishop. Spin move and a foul. As long as he's fourth. It's a blocking foul. So the ball back over to Hamlin. Tapped out. It's going to stay with Mount St. Joe's. 450 here left in the first half. Pass turned it over. Bishop wasn't able to handle it. And Goretti gets it back. And his bachelor will inbound the ball. That's a three. Front end miss. Blankly. Nice hustle there. The offensive rebound. Bachelor, Blankley. That's a three from Rogers. That one tipped and missed. Well four. Gets the rebound. Back over to Bishop. Bishop pulls up. Front end miss. Rebound to Bachelor. 
And then over there with Edwards, Rogers, turns it over. Bell four. Pulls back over to Crowley. Now setting it up. Alec Bishop. Bishop drives. Bishop blocked away That's from Blankley. Three twenty nine left. Pick City Hamlin back over to Bell for he's got a lane. Got it in there before the defense could react. 28-21. Now we're getting the game we expected. 306 left. Seven point lead. Timeout by St. Maria Goretti. 304 here left in the first half. What's going on? Blankley leads all scores with 16 of the 28 points. For Goretti. Crawley Bishop both have five for Mount St. Joe's. They say a good one. This one has turned out to be. So far, both teams have shot the same amount of field goal attempts 23. Goretti has 10 of them made. Mount St. Joe's have nine. the game action. Gulak gives it to Edwards. 257 here left in the first half. Blankley, Sambala, Edwards. Edwards inside, didn't get it. Second chance, no good. Ball on the deck. And Crawley picks it up for Mount St. Joe's. A foul. 15 foul against Goretti. Fouls on Roger Blakeney, his first. Team's fifth. 16 fouls. Mount St. Joe's fouls one more time. They put Goretti in the one on one. And Goretti does the opposite. They put Mount St. Joe's in it. Two more chances. Crawley. Got it, playing time on the shot clock. Hamlin drives, floater goes. Antonio Hamlin. A five point game. Inside, Bishop with a little payback on Blankley. Bishop all the way, floater. It drops in. We got a three point game. Two minutes left here in the first half. Bishop now leads St. Francis with seven points. Cersei, Simbao. Over to Blankley. Blankley against Bishop. Behind the back. Inside rejected. Hamlin. Bishop. Balfour for the tie. Tipped and miss. And that which gets the rebound. One twenty-eight left. Inside, Gulak try to reverse, no good. And Bishop back with it. Hamlin back over to Bishop. Bishop against Blankley. Turnover. Brown wasn't ready. Back in for Saint Rogers. 
in a game for Mount St. Joe, 5'10 junior guard, number 11, Chandler Johnson. Swings it. Gulak. Not the Cersei. Over to Gulak. Inside. Sabala missed the reversal. Edwards back to Bishop. Mount St. Joe's can tie with a three. Oh! Foul is called. 16 foul against Garetti now. And Bishop coming to the line to shoot two. 48.6 left. At the line, James Fisher. Two shots. First shot for Bishop. Not there. Second shot. Stuck. Goretti gets it back. So, he free throw misses by Bishop. I would have got I'll say Joe's been one and it hit both. Only one three-pointer made. And Mount St. Joe's will keep the ball off the possession arrow. Bishop pulls up. Hits it. One point game. Yes, indeed. We like how this one's setting up. Dulac. Edwards. Blankley, spin move, and he's shooting up here, 17 foul against Miles St. Joe's. Fouls on Javante Brown, his first. And the line, R.J. Blankley, two shots. First shot in there. Gets the lead back to one. Two, excuse me. Two point lead. Hamlin. Over to Edwards. Let's just see me. Over to Johnson. About four. 13 seconds. Hamlin. Hamlin pulls up. Hits it. How about a freshman playing big minutes? Lightly at the buzzer. Not there. So, we are dead even at 29. At one point, Goretti had a 15 0 lead in this game. Back with the second half for this 48th. BC Gals semifinal here at Loyola College after this here on the Dice Morning Network. You stay tuned. Second half about to get on the way in the 48th BCL semifinal game. 2C St. Maria Goretti and 3C Mount St. Joe. Deadlocked at 29. We got another class between these two coming our way here. Gulak with it. Swings it back over. Gets it back. Gulak. Cersei from downtown hits. A nice three. And he breaks the ice in the tie. 32 to 29. And the winner sees St. Francis in the championship game. Sunday. He on the dice for work Monday. Inside, no good. Nearby Kabute. Cersei. I say, I'm sorry. That is Edwards. Spinned out. Blankley had it and gave it up to Edwards early. Crawley. Bell four. Bell four drives. Picks off. Edwards. Over to Cersei. 
Gulak, Langley, Edwards, fakes it, drives in the lane and off the glass and in. Five point lead here for Goretti. They're like Mount St. Joe's. They're all at the tide, off the knee. Gonna stay with the gals of Mount St. Joe's. Crawley. Crawley drives back over. That's a three. No good. Where's it? Sambala. That's two shots. Second team foul on Mount St. Joe's. And Pye with his third foul. And we're going to definitely take a seat. For shot goal. Out of the half. It's been a 6 0 run here for Goretti. Second shot in there. Both shots go. It's a seven point game. Picked off, Edwards. Sensei, wide open for three. Tip and miss. Back over, some ball block by Brown. And Gulak though gets the rebound. Sabala tries it again. Tried to spin move, the hook shot, didn't go. Back off the knee, another offensive rebound for Goretti. This time Edwards slows it down a little bit. And Gulak, inside, count it in Goretti, sucking themselves again. 9-0 run here in the third. And Hamlin coming back in the game now. For Mount St. Joe. Eight turnovers for the Gales of Mount St. Joe's. Got it. Lead back to 10. Mount St. Joe's fought back so hard to tie it up for the half. And now, bat it, turned over, Edwards. All alone, lays it in. Time out by Mouse. 12-0 run. Here in the third. And they're ready. They put the their seal, their control here. Against Mount St. Joe's. We've seen Goretti early in the season against the math, against the Hill School. Now against Mount St. Joe's here today. St. Joe's off the timeout here. See offensively they can get it back together. They started off slow to start the game. But they pieced it together, tied it up at halftime, and now in the third they started off a little sluggish again. Let's see how that will change here. Bell four. We're gonna still say battle with fives. Pick City! Blakely, Cersei, missed the dunk. Edwards trying to hustle for it. Look out. He's all right. And the ball will go back to Mount St. Joe. This 
Clanks it. Bishop trying to get it going here. Off the glass, missed it. Batted it out, and Goretti gets it back. They still so far for St. Maria Goretti. One for nine for three by uh, St. Joe's here. These are your team that's, when they're hitting threes, can be very dangerous. Simbala. Pula had got it back and back and was able to get it. Edwards. Edwards. Spin move. Shooting two. 13 foul against Mount St. Joe's. Chairs is third. His chair is third. He had a rhythm going early in the game on offense, but the fouls have tallied up on him. Not able to stay in it. First shot in there. Second shot. Got it. 43-29. Mount St. Joe's was stuck on that 29 for a while. Let's see if Hamlin and Cumberland can change that. Hamlin back over. Brown slams it down. Cersei. Back over inside. Back over. Cersei with the floater. Tipped and missed. Brown with the rebound, back over to Bishop. Bishop don't have the numbers in his favor. He pulls back. Bishop gets Hamlin. Swings it over to Belfort. Dolly looking to come back in. Belfort swings it. Hamlin pulls up. Tipped and missed. And rebound over to Gulak. And then back to Edwards. 3.20 left in the third. Face it. Mbala. Spin move. Missed it. Belfour with the rebound. Belfour all the way. Chairs, long distance, two hits. Long distance two. Ten point lead now. Lately, Gulak batted out. It's going to stay with uh, Goretti. 2.42 here left in the third. Back over. Back. Gulak for three. That miss. Bishop can get this game back to single ditches again. Miss him off the screen. Drives inside. Tip the miss. Blankley haven't heard his name yet in the third. Travel. Ball back. To Mount St. Joe's timeout by Goretti. Ten point lead for them. Two ten. Here left. Cersei now with eleven. Right behind Blankley with seventeen. Mount St. Joe's chairs and Bishop both have nine. And Brown, the leading rebounder, at five. Blankley, the leading rebounder. Poor Goretti at seven. He's three away from a double double. Back to game action. St. Joe's get the ball back. Screen. 
Bishop and one. The and one. That one goes. Lead down to seven. Inside off the glass, miss. Brown. That's a rebound, 13 foul on Goretti. Foul on his third. Second team foul on Goretti. That's the second team foul. My apologies there. Moves him back. That's a three. It hits. James Bishop. Puts it in there. Down the line here, a minute left. That one chipped and missed. That one should go yes to Mountain Swings it inside to Brown. Brown against Rogers. Interesting matchup. Got it in there. Lead down 2-2. Two, two. Again a game of runs. Edwards looking to hold to end the quarter. McLean, and briefly, Blankley. That one tipped and missed. Five, four, three. Crawley for the lead. In and out. After three, 43, 41. Goretti up by one. Next time you'll see us on the Dice One Network. The 48th BCL final coming up. You'll see it Monday here on the Dice One Network. We will be seeing that matchup. And the question is, who will it be? We'll be joining St. Francis then Monday. MPSS playoffs. We'll be here on the Dice One Network. We have a sectional sectional semifinal for you. And it looked like we'll be going on the boys action over to Pali. So we will Pali against the winner of City Mr. Harbor. You will know it by the time it passes out. We do have a couple of finals for you. We do know that it will be Randallstown against Chesapeake in the 1A side. And things. You know Franklin and the Woodlawn will play on the 3A side of things as well. That should be interesting. Dundalk defeating Patasico pretty heavily. They won't know their opponents until the following day, which is today. Double team turned it over. Back comes Edwards. Missed it. Symbala 
Sir. Layup is good for Blankley. First points of the second half for the senior. And that's a four point game here. Back over. Swings it. Tried to pass it inside, was turned over. Edwards, Circe, Zimbala. Back over. Gulak for three. Tip and miss. Hamlin with the rebound. Fast break for the freshman. Dishes inside. Layup did not go for Brown. Cersei back to Blankley. Blankley drives and a finger roll goes. Blankley with the last four. He has 21 now. And it's 47 to 41. Hamlin. Travel. Definitely walks. Swings it back. Blankley. Cymbala. Edwards. Gulak. Cymbala fouled inside. 14 foul against Mount St. Joe. Foul four for three. Hits it. Lead down to three. Yes. We got another close one. Ladies and gentlemen, on our hands here. Mount St. Joe. Mount St. Joe's called time. A couple boys games coming. What are we doing again? A, we will know the MPSSA playoff game will be coming at you with our next telecast where we will be coming at you from. We will have a couple more games coming your way from the playoffs. Here on the Dysway Network concluding with the highlights of the 1A, 2A, 3A, and 4A championships for the boys' side. Down. At the Affinity Center. Cersei finishes the job. Forty-nine, forty-four. Crawley, back over the chairs, back over to Crawley. Bishop wide open for three. Missed it. Bishop got his own rebound back. Tried to kick it over. Turned over Cersei. Back over to Blankley. Two points. Blankley with 23 now, matching his jersey number, 51 to 44. Coming down the stretch now. Ball four for three. That one tipped and missed. Two wide open three pointers. So now St. Joe's not there. Edwards, he's taking it all away. He's shooting up there. So the 15th foul against. Mount St. Joe. Fouls on James Bishop, his first.
First shot, in there. Second shot. Got it. Four shots go. Timeout by Goretti. Lead back to nine again. And time is the enemy of Mount St. Joe's in this one. Like I said again, both teams will still have action. Even if either gets defeated in the game. As Mount St. Joe's and St. Mary Goretti along with St. Francis will playing in the score uh, Mama tournament next week. We know the pairings already. We know first game will be Mount St. Maria Goretti up against St. John's. Second game is going to be Gonzaga against Bishop Walsh. Bishop Walsh much improved this year, the whole school normally. Third matchup, Damatha, nationally ranked in the country. St. Francis, nationally ranked. Should be a good one there. And then the fourth final matchup will be Mount St. Joe's against nationally ranked Paul Six. Back to game action. That one should be a good one. All four should be a good one. We might be able to get some footage from that action as well. We're going to try to. We're on the dive swing that one. Crawley. Bishop, back to bell four. Bishop, inside the Hamlin. Got to do something with it. 10, 11, Hamlin for three. That one didn't go. Foul against Goretti. That is 16 foul. One more, it's going to be one and one time for Goretti as well. Gulak inside some ball against Brown. Ball on the deck, turns it over. Hamlet and a cheap foul against Blankley. 13 foul against Garetti. Foul RJ Blankley is third. Swings it. Crawley for three. That one didn't go. At the side of the backboard. So sad. Inside. Blankley. Timbala. Spend it all. And did not go in. Bishop. Gets it knocked away. Turned it over. Do that. Not the serve set. 17 foul. Uh, against Mount St. Joe's, one and one in the pack. For the singers. At the line, James Searcy. Searcy shooting two with 320 left in this one. And Mount St. Joe's, that one did not go. Hard in this one. They have come back at times in this game, but with three minutes left. They want to get back on the full comeback trail. It's got to start right now. That's a foul. Shooting two is Belfour. First shot, spin down. First shot, spin down. Let's 
Second shot here. Got it. Eight point lead. So go ready. Blankley. Cersei. Swings it all the way back out to Edwards. Back to Blankley. At Deloye. Blankley. Picked by Bishop. Drive. Got the drive. So got it. Both teams with two timeouts left. Blankley. To Cersei. That works. 2.30 left in this one. Swings it back over. Gulak. Cymbala. And a foul against Carl St. Joe's inside and 18 foul on them, one on one. And a foul. First shot in there. Second shot in there. Eight point lead still for Goretti. 2.18 left in this. Goretti trying to beat Mount St. Joe's for a third time this season. All right, this one's similar to the first meeting that was down in Irvington. Mount St. Joe Bell four for three. That one's high off the mark. Gulak gets it. Edwards brings it up. Gulak for the dagger. That is the dagger right there. Slam. Oh, Trey Blakely. <laughs> and one. Point lead. Edwards. Back over to Blankley. Ball game. 59 47. I think that'll do it. St. Maria Gretti for the first time since 2002. We'll be playing for a BCL championship. That one tipped and missed for Cersei. And then a foul. 19 foul against Mount St. Joe. Grady was last in the BCL finals back in 2002. Monster. I was sporting here before. It was their last title, 2001. They beat former Townsend Catholic, 59-53. And that's a front end miss. So Grady's sixth trip to the BCL final. Foul. 15 foul against them. Everybody will be trying to get their fifth championship. Two shots for Bell Four. First shot goes. Second shot. In there. 59-49. Swings it back. Inside. Slams it down for the exclamation point. And Cymbala. Bishop. Tax the three for Johnson. Tip the miss. Blankley got it. Double team. And still say. Actually, excuse me. Edwards is fouled. That's the double bonus in effect now. Foul by Chandler Johnson, his first. St. Francis. will be playing for their 12th champ, for their ninth championship, 12th appearance in the game. Tim will be playing for their fifth championship. It'll be their sixth appearance 
in the contest. Bench is out. For Mount St. Joe's, they can get prepared for their matchup against Paul Six coming up one Thursday. Up at uh, Forestburg State. Three ball. No good for Bishop. Bachelor. On the deck, Crawley. We have a foul. It's a 17 foul against uh, Goretti now. And the one and one in effect. Sixteen foul. I'm sorry, that's a 16 foul. One more. We put Mount St. Joe's in the one and one. Edwards, Crawley. Bishop. One of his pull up and shoot hits. Three ball, ten point lead. Timeout by uh, Mount St. Joe's. Shot clock will be on. Thirty four point nine left in this one. So St. Maria Goretti play St. Francis. Look in the history. But it would be the first time these two teams are back in the final. And that is correct. It'll be the first time St. Maria Goretti and Mount St. and St. Francis, excuse me, meet in the BCL Finals. 48-year history. Back to game action. Forty-four point nine left. AML turnover. Starters coming back in. Still a ten-point situation. Edwards back to Bishop. Back to Crawley. And quickly bring it up. Bishop lost it. All back to Mount the St. Maria Goretti, excuse me, 27.2. Trying to get some of the little down players much, a little bit of uh I say say. Edwards. And play defense. Edwards lays it in. So St. Maria Goretti back in the BCL final for the first time since 2002. Look for their first championship since 2001. 10.6 left. And I mean, this one's in the bag, big time. It's tied up. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens with uh, matchups on Sunday. Come out and check it out here at Loyola College. But if you can't make it, we got you in the Dice Way Network on Monday. We'll have it for you in prime time. That final game will be on at 7 o'clock on the Dice Way Network. We'll have it for you premiering them. And we're going to have an MPSSA sectional semifinal game coming with you. Turns it over. Edwards for three. That's the Super Johnson for three. No good. Sambala has it. That will do it. Samuel Gladdy. For the first time ever, we'll see St. Francis in the BCL championship game. Fifth title Gladdy's looking for in their sixth championship appearance. St. Francis will be looking. For their record setting ninth championship and their 12th appearance. So that's how we're gonna have it. St. Maria Goretti, two seed.
St. Francis, one seed, is coming at you. 1 p.m. Live and in living color, you want to see it? 7 p.m. on the Diaspora Network, you want to see it on Monday. For all of us here, I'm the boss, I say so long to you. We'll see you right back here at the Rich Arena for the, the 48th BCL Final. And we say so long to you for now, come on side. So long, we'll see you down the road. This is Die Sporting Network.